Twitter took its biggest step yet to limit President Trump's reach for the first time locking his account. Now, Twitter said he cannot tweet to his 88 million followers until 12 hours after he deletes three blocked tweets and warned that he could be permanently suspended if he continues violating Twitter's policies against violent threats and election misinformation. Facebook is blocking Trump from posting for 24 hours and is removing any posts that support the storming of the U.S. Capitol, including Trump's video about the protests and his misleading post about the election results. And YouTube removed the president's video as well, alleging fraud, saying it's removing any content that breaks its rules. Now, these platforms are also drawing criticism for serving as tools to organize and incite yesterday's riots. A Facebook group called Red State Secession asked its 8,000 followers to share the addresses of enemies, including members of Congress, posting that people should be prepared to use force. Now, Chris Saka, he's an early investor in Twitter, he tweeted that Jack Dorsey and Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg have blood on their hands. And former Facebook security chief Alex Stamos, he criticized Facebook for not silencing Trump sooner. Joe? That begs the question, I think. So does Parler benefit from this, or is Parler, I don't know, that would be a home maybe to a lot of, uh, I don't know whether you call untoward element, but does, does, does Parler, does it get thrown in with all the, the protesters, or does it become a place where, where you go if you want to express yourself from that point of view? So Parler, which has been a home for um, the, the right wing conservative viewpoints, um, the people who've been frustrated that they say that Facebook and Twitter were censoring them. Of course, Facebook and Twitter were, have said they are just following their rules. Parler did see a big leap in users around the election, um, around complaints that there was censorship there. I would expect Parler to see some growth, but it is still much, much smaller um, than a Twitter or a Snap, and certainly than a Facebook. So we're waiting for some numbers from Parler to see how this impacted their user base. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.